Okay, so we're going to start working through the um, portrait to line drawing. And we're going to start with step one on the PDF, convert to a sketch. So the first step for that is you need to open up your image into Photoshop. So um, if you have... Tiki. If you have imported it, um, to the computer, it's probably in your downloads, so you're going to go to File, Open, or just hit Open on the Start screen, and then you'll be able to find your image in the downloads. Um, so after you get the image open, you're going to start out by hit Command-J to duplicate the background layer, and then you're going to use shortcut Command-Shift-U to remove color and do it in that order. Hold down Command, then Shift, then U. That will turn it to black and white. Now you're going to duplicate it again, Command J. So now we have three layers. So you wanna keep checking periodically to make sure you're on the right track and you're doing it properly. And you're gonna do Command I, oops, did something wrong there. Command I, and this is when it should look like x-ray vision. So if it looks like x-ray vision on your top layer, you are correct at this point. Now just a side note, if you are using a PC, not a Mac, you are going to be using control instead of command. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> okay, now you're going to change the blending mode to color dodge, the blending mode is found right here at the top of the layer panel where it says normal, you're gonna change it to color dodge. You will know that it is correct if your screen, your project is now completely white. Then we're going to go up to our top menu, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're going to put our radius at eight pixels and click okay. All right, so now we're moving on to step two, and that is make the line stronger. So this part's kind of confusing. Again, we haven't done a lot of this stuff before, so after you're comfortable with this project, you will really have a nice base in Photoshop. So while you're holding down Shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select layer one and the top layer, layer one copy you can see that they are both highlighted right now. And by highlighted, I mean selected. You can see they're a little bit lighter shade of gray. Then you're gonna use command, shortcut command E to merge those two layers together. Now you're going to duplicate again, shortcut command J, and then you're going to change the blending mode of that top layer to multiply. What you should see happen here is the lines will begin to darken. Um, after you have done this, you're going to duplicate the layer three more times, Command J, Command J, Command J, and each time you do that, you should notice that your lines are getting darker and darker and darker. Okay, so at this point, we are going to select all our layers in our layer panel. You can hold down shift and click on the first and layer right above the background layer, or you can use command. Command, you can just click on them all individually. Um, and then we're gonna merge them together. Don't click on that background layer. You're gonna merge the top layers together using shortcut command E. Command E is the shortcut for merge. You're gonna double click and name this layer sketch. Very important that you don't forget to name this layer sketch. Okay, so now we are officially done with step two and we're moving on to step three called clean it up. And I'm just going off the directions on the PDF if you prefer to work from the PDF directions. Now we're going to make a new layer. I'm going to do that using the new layer button, which is at the very bottom of the um, layer panel next to the teeny tiny trash can. It's the um, square with the plus. I'm going to hit it. And this layer is going to be, you're going to grab a hold of it and drag it so it's in between the sketch layer and the background. 
Now we're gonna fill this layer with white. So we're gonna do edit, fill, and from the drop down menu with that says contents, we're gonna select white. You're gonna click okay. You'll see on the thumbnail that it's now filled in with white instead of the checker box. Checker box indicates nothing there and now it's filled with white. Okay, so next part now is we're going to highlight the sketch layer, which means we're going to click on it, and we're going to click the add layer mask icon button at the bottom of the layer panel. It's the rectangle with the circle inside of it. Now, this right here, when you click it, this is our layer mask. Um, layer masks are super cool because they are not destructive. So the edits that we're going to do using the layer mask, you can, if you don't like it, you can get rid of it and it will not hurt your project or your photograph. So um, what we're going to be doing now is make cleaning up the skin and, so, and the, deleting the background and making this so it is just simply a line sketch. Um, you're going to do this um, using the brush tool. So we're going to come over to the layer panel, select the brush tool, and we're going to set our foreground and background colors to default black and white. So you can hit the D key to do this, and X will flip-flop your um, foreground and background colors. So you want black to be on top, um, and then you are going to just begin to paint out your background and all the texture in your project. This is a very long step. Um, it will usually take at least half an hour to do this well, and you will want to zoom in to get um, all the spots and clean up the face. You want to usually leave the texture in the hair, any other prominent lines, but all of this um, texture that you see inside the shirt, all of this you want to get rid of. The better that you do this step, the better your project will be, and you should be getting rid of your background too. When, if you mess up, I'm going to mess up just to show you, if you mess up, you, you can fix it because you are on a layer mask right here. All you have to do is switch to white in your foreground color by hitting X. And then using white, you can paint back in that area that you, you messed up on. Very important as you do this step, you keep verifying that you are always on the layer mask over here in your layer panel. All right, so I have already um, completed this step and saved it because, like I said, this is a time-consuming step. So I'm going to switch to the one where I've already finished it. And you can kind of see what a cleaned up version of this image looks like. So this is where I just started. And here we are after it's been cleaned up. So I'll switch again just so you can see how much I took out before and after. Before and after. Really want to do a good job on this step. Okay, so now I am on step four. And this is paint in the colors. So... The most important thing to remember when you hit step four is you're going to be changing the sketch layer. You're going to change the blending mode to multiply. Very important. You won't see anything change when you do that initially. You will only see the effects of it later as you go. Then you're going to make a new layer and you're going to drag it. It's always all your new layers, all your colors are always going to go underneath layer, um, underneath your sketch layer. Um, grab the brush tool and choose a color for the skin and begin painting the skin. I'm actually going to sample, uh, I'll show you, I'm going to hide these and I'm going to sample um, the skin color from the background using the eyedropper tool. You can do that too if you want. And for each color that I do, I'm going to, whoops, wrong one, sorry. I'm going to give it a new um, layer and I'm going to label that layer. So this is my skin layer. Grab my paintbrush tool. You might want to zoom in. Again, this is another um, step that you really want to take your time and do a good job with.
Now, if you mess up, you need to clean it up. You can just grab the eraser tool to clean up any edges if you mess up. Now, this is going to be a little time consuming, so I am gonna come back um, once I am done um, painting everything and do the background. <laughs> we are again at the tail end of step four. Um, so I'm pretty much done with the um, different layers. You can see each different color has its own layer. Um, something you might want to try also is you might want to drop the opacity down for some of your layers. Like there, I just dropped it down a little bit for the hair, maybe the shirt, and you might even want to do it um, sometimes your skin. And you don't necessarily have to use the colors from the picture either. You can kind of go your own direction too. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to step number five, add background effects. So you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click on that layer that you filled with white. Um, it should be right above the background layer and make sure you're on that layer. It might still be named layer one. And you're going to go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and you're going to select um, Texture, which is this folder right here. And you're going to select um, Grain over here, and then you're going to change the type to Vertical. Did I miss something? Oh, I'm sorry. I did miss something. Don't forget, we're going to put the intensity at 100 and the contrast at zero. Sorry about that. So make sure you do that and then the grain type is going to be vertical. And then you're going to go ahead and click OK. Then you're going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur we use a lot. And you're going to change the radius to four. And then you're going to go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. And you're going to pick Rectangular to Polar. Let's click OK. And then we're going to use Shortcut Command U to bring up our Hue Saturation dialog box. We used this before when we did the spill. And you're going to always make sure that you hit the colorize box. And then you can go ahead and play around until you find the color that you want. Kind of like in the blue for this one. And let's see. I think I'm going to do that kind of bright blue. Once you get it, go ahead and click OK. Now, so we've got it for the most part, um, but I do, if you guys take a look at the eyes, um, you can see um, that the color is coming through on the eyes. So I am going to go ahead and clean that up. And what I am going to do, um, just to clean up the eyes, is I made another layer. I zoomed in on them. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint white over the area that is showing up blue. So very carefully I'm going to go over this. And then the dots of the eyes there. And then I am just going to clean it up slightly with the eraser tool. Okay, so 
So that's pretty good. And now what we're gonna do is we're ready to flatten it. So we're gonna do layer, flatten image, and then you can do file, save as. You can go ahead and save it as a JPEG because that way you can um, put it on your um, cell phone if you wanna take it with you. So go ahead, save it as a JPEG, and then you can upload it and turn it in.